the Roaring Twenties, the fashion, the film stars, and the cars. <clears throat> a lot's changed, but not everything has. At the Regent Fish and Chip Takeaway, hidden in the suburbs of Leeds in Horsforth, you get a taste of the 1920s every time you come in. For this shop's been serving fish and chips since 1925, and over the years it's remained a bastion of the great British dish. Partners Adrian and Sharon run this chippy together, and with it are charged with filling the bellies of the community, who've seen this place as a symbol of great British food for their whole lives. Fish and chips here are still prepared the traditional way, and Adrian took me down to the cellar to show me some of his prep in action. The traditional methods of preparing fish and chips in a traditional shop, that's what appealed to me. Where everything else is moving on towards fast food, this, we've kept the traditional methods. Well, purchasing fresh potatoes, that sauce, uh, the finest haddock we can buy, making my own batter, uh, traditional wrappings, uh, an opportunity to, to deal with the, with the public uh, and serve the local community. Fish and chips 125 years. Uh, it's vital that it's, it's kept traditional and not moved on, you know, like I've said with the other fast food. Here today, gone tomorrow type pads. With lunchtime fast approaching, it wasn't long before one of the region's loyal customers came to get their fix of the great British tradition. Richard Horseman is one customer who's been coming here since he was a toddler. We used to live about 300 yards up the road that way and I can remember my mum bringing me down here when I must have been less than two years old and we'd go in up these steps, sit down on the, oh, she'd sit me down on the counter and I'd get a chip on a fork and I'd sit there eating this chip on the fork. I was the happiest little boy in the whole of Leeds as long as I got that chip on a fork. And I've come back here since on all the kind of occasions when my wife was in hospital giving birth to our first kiddie. I didn't want to be um, uh, cooking for myself, so I'd come here. All kinds of life experiences have been shared in this little shop. It just hasn't changed in all those years. It's hidden away here. It's not on a main street. And yet, you come in here on a Saturday, it's throng. There's people uh, come from miles away. I know I drive in now from four or five miles away because I want the fish and chips from here. But for the people who live in the immediate area, it's just... It's, it's one of those things that makes Horsforth what it is. A brief break in the lunchtime rush and a chance to catch up with Sharon. It's a nice place to come to work. Um, it's lovely, lovely environment, um, lovely neighbours and the customers are fantastic. It's a joy really, really part of the community. They've been brought up with it. We see children growing up and, and then they bring their children in and they bring their children in. We have people who can barely climb the steps saying, once I can't get up these steps, that's it. You know, 90-year-old people come in. I've been coming here all my life. And the, the grandparents, the grandchildren. We've got one lady at the moment who comes over three times a year from Hong Kong to see her dad. And she's in last night, you know, and she, she just loves coming back for a fish and chips. It's, it's part of a bygone era when things were nicer somehow and people were nicer and there was more of a village um, community spirit here in Horsforth. I think people hanker after that. So happy birthday, the Regent. Knowing the affection many have for this place, there's no doubt it will still be here in another 90 years. From the air, I'm Mark Kellish-Levine.